Greetings, lovelies. Well, okay, I guess that's probably not going to become my thing, but at least I gave it a try, right? Anyway, this is pretty exciting and quite an honor. Emmy Made in Japan, a big-time YouTuber, sent me, a small-time YouTuber, a surprise package. Now, Emmy is a quite an adventurous eater. She has a lot of videos up. Uh, I mean, she has a half a million subscribers. She's, she's big time. And in the past, Gundog4314, Kiwi Dude, and I have um, supplied Emmy with some stuff to try out, some military rations to try out. And I'm kind of the beneficiary of it because actually Gundog and Kiwi Dude were the ones that physically sent her the stuff. And I kind of get some of the credit too. But I don't know if this is as a thank you or what, but Emmy said that she was going to send us something too. So my package arrived yesterday. I don't know uh, about gun dogs and kiwi dudes, but um, it's not very often you get a surprise package from somebody with a half a million subscribers. So you can see here, there's uh, Emmy made in Japan. And uh, why don't we go ahead and see what Emmy sent us. side here. Uh oh, it's a can. But a can of what? Ah, we have a message too here. Okay, this uh, says what it is. Uh, I hope all is well with you. Here's a can of silkworm poupe for you. I also sent one to the other guys. So maybe there can be a triple taste test of some sort. Enjoy. Happy holidays. Best Emmy. Oh, wow. That's pretty scary. <laughs> now, I was expecting this to be a surprise. And um, I'm not at all disappointed. Whoa. Oh, my God. Can you hear that? Wow, and it's, uh, looks like it's best by March 19th, 2017, if I'm reading that right. 2017, 3 I'm give you some instructions for opening the can, but it's a pull tab, so it should be pretty easy. Um, and there's not much English here. Oh, okay, I guess this is Korean. I was thinking this was Japanese, but it looks like it's Korean. Um, on the top, it does say silkworm pupas. Pupas. Pupae, pupae, I'm not exactly sure how I should be saying that. And we do have nutrition facts, and it does have the ingredients. Silkworm pupa, sugar, and water. You can check out the nutrition facts if you want. No, oh, there's actually more stuff here, too. Hmm. Looks delicious. Let's try these out. All right, so silkworm pupa. Can't say I've ever really heard of this, um, but uh, definitely sounds interesting. I'm sure Kiwi Dude and Gundog are going to um, cam up with this stuff too. I'll put a link to their videos down below. And um, I don't know, I guess that's it. I guess let's check it out. Whoa. Ooh, that's not a very pleasant smell. These are your silkworms. Because they didn't want to let them become uh, butterflies. Uh, what does that smell like? It smells um, like some kind of... Um, it almost smells like vegetables. Uh, it smells like corn. It smells like musty corn. That's the best I can think of. And it sort of makes sense because it does have uh, sugar as ing an ingredient. So it's kind of like, um, you know, like sweet corn. Silkworm pupa sugar and water that's it so maybe this is going to be a little sweet 
Yeah, it's a really weird smell. And one thing I'll say is that... Oh, they're alive. Just kidding. Having been in the military, you do learn to eat what's available when it's available. There's a lot of talk about uh, rations being gross, MREs and other, other rations. But if you're in a situation where there's nothing to eat, you end up um, being subject to eating stuff like bark, uh, all kinds of insects, ants, grasshoppers, uh, cockroaches, I suppose, if you could find them. Um, obviously any kind of edible plants, but you're taking the chance that they're not actually edible. So this is something, obviously, some people eat this. This is something that's a canned food product from Korea. I don't know if it's a thing. I don't know how you serve these. If you just eat them out of the can like a snack, or if you eat them uh, over rice, if you eat them as part of a side dish for part of another meal. You know, it's funny, they're kind of waterproof. I don't know if you can see this, but like... When they come to the surface, they, uh, they're not wet. Oh, that's even scarier. You can actually see the little, the little silkworm. It's kind of like bundled up in there. Let me try this uh, juice first. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It has a little bit of a sweetness, obviously the sugar. But it, uh, the best way I can describe it is musty. Yeah, I guess we have to do this. If we're going to do it. This will be my first and quite possibly last taste of silkworm. Hmm. Yeah. They taste old. They taste musty. I don't know if that's the, uh... I don't know. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. At least not a lot of good flavor. It's slightly sweet. The mustiness is what I'm really not liking about it. Not too bad. You get that crunch from the outer part. It's softer inside. I don't know if it's possible if you didn't know what you're eating that it wouldn't be so bad. I'm trying to imagine that, just thinking it was like a bean or something. Ugh. Because all that juice in there, sometimes uh, you bite in and it squirts out. Which I'm, I get that it's just the uh, the brine, the liquid that it's in, but you kind of imagine it being something else. It's definitely different. Not something I see myself eating on a regular basis. If I was uh, had nothing else to eat, I'm sure it would be a good source of something to eat, basically. <laughs> But of course there are other things to eat, luckily, and uh, I think I would probably uh, go with the uh, military ration over this. Here they are without the juices, so you can kind of get the full effect. You know, one of the things I wanted to say, if you do find yourself in a situation where you do need to eat insects or silkworm pupae, is that um, it's probably a pretty good source of protein. And according to the can, this does give you 10 grams of protein. I was thinking maybe there was a couple servings in here, but the can itself is uh, about four and a half ounces, and that's considered one serving. That means you'd have to eat this whole can to uh, consider it a single serving for your 10 grams of protein. There's gotta be easier ways of getting protein. And I do have to say once again, you know what, what it really reminds me of is if you open up a can of corn, cold, not heated up or anything, just open it up, that really is what this smells like to me. And it has a has a certain mustiness, which I guess is coming from the from the bugs. Not incredibly pleasant, but uh, certainly interesting. Something different. And I'm sure there's ways of eating these. I'm sure there's people who enjoy eating these. And I don't. I was gonna say I can see why, but I can't see why. But uh, I'm sure that's the case. Anyway, thank you very much, Emmy. I really appreciate it. I <laughs> I could see myself saying I don't appreciate it, but I really do appreciate you sending this along. Something I've never tried and I never had a chance to try before. Never really heard of. Apparently it's, uh, it's a thing, but um, thank you very much, Emmy, and thank you for watching. Itadakimasu.